Good morning. I'm here to talk about one of economy's biggest issues, and that is pollution. And it all started with the Industrial Revolution. In the mid-1700s, the Industrial Revolution began when Britain started to industrialize their economy, and this spread to the United States when a man named Samuel Slater brought in new manufacturing technologies from Britain to America in 1790. As years passed, technology advanced as new industries came along. With these new ideas, however, came more use of gases, electricity, and chemicals. In 1860, there were 288 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In 2017, that amount almost doubled, reaching, to, reaching up to 405 parts per, parts per million. This leads me to my question, to what extent does urbanization increase the amount of pollution in the United States? From looking at the stimulus source, looking for the Gulf Motel, the author Richard Blanco states, I want to blame the condos, their shadows for ruining the beach in my past. I want to chase the snowbirds away with their tacky mansions and yachts. I want to turn the golf courses back into neighbors. Over the years, many places have urbanized or upgraded, and this is what Richard Blanco is referring to when things, when things start to have more city-like features. Also, in my second stimulus source, speech to United Nations General Assembly, Margaret Thatcher states, we are seeing a vast increase in the amount of carbon dioxide reaching the atmosphere. The annual increase is 3 billion tons, and half of the carbon emitted since the Industrial Revolution still remains in the atmosphere. With that much of the pollution in the air from so long ago, adding more pollution because of urbanization is only hurting our environment and our economy. A solution to this problem would be to go green in cities. By spreading the word about going green, um, you can convince people to do things to pollute, le to pollute the air less, which would be to drive less cars and convince companies to stop urbanizing places as much. By decreasing the amount of pollution in the air and slowing down urbanization, the amount of pollution on Earth's atmosphere would not increase nearly as much or even begin to decline. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, short and or long-term exposure to air pollution has been associated with a wide range of human health effects, including increased respiratory systems, hospitalization for heart or lung disease, and even premature death. From an economic standpoint, it takes a lot of money to urbanize areas. So with the solution of going green in cities, econ the economy can save more money by not urbanizing places as much. And also, decreasing urbanization would decrease costs. From a futuristic lens, instead of unhealthy polluted areas, the air will be healthier for people to breathe. As stated from the environmental lens, it has, the pollution has lots of negative effects on human health. And by decreasing the amount of pollution in the air, it can be healthier to breathe overall and make everyone in the world healthier. Some limitations to this problem is that it will cost more money to go green in cities. You will have to spend more money on um, advocating and getting the word out and advertising it to people, which will cost a lot of money. And People may have to pay for other uh, forms of transportation if they were to use less cars, such as trains or buses. And also, not, may, not all people may care enough to act on this. You can share the word as much as you want, but if people don't act on it, there will not be a change. And if there is no change, there will still, there will still be pollution in the air, and it will still be dangerous for all the people in the world. Thank you. What questions do you have? Okay, first question. What information did you need before you began your research, and how did that information shape your research? I needed to research how urbanization was connected to pollution, and I also researched the difference in between the pollution back when uh, the Industrial Revolution was happening and to now to compare the difference between the two. Okay. And second question. If you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to this issue? I would probably do specific research on pollution in different parts of the world, different countries, because some countries have more pollution than others. Okay. Thank you, ma'am.